hello and welcome to Phoenix Cards and the first video in my new uh, sort of weekly Wednesday schedule. Um, I've now decided that I'm going to be doing my main Pokemon openings on Saturday as they always are. But on Wednesdays I'm going to be doing some either some different openings or showing something different like some gameplay. And today we have a um, Final Fantasy, uh, I think it was like a gift box or celebration tin. Um, that was out some point last year or the beginning of this year, um, but I, I managed to get hold of it in the last month or so finally, so I can get it open. Um, I did advertise this as the first thing I was going to open up on my Wednesday video in my last Saturday Pokemon video. Um, so if you do like Pokemon stuff, then I've got loads of Pokemon videos already up on the channel, so go and check those out. Um, I didn't have a Final Fantasy background, as you can see. I do have the play mat, which is quite cool. Um, so in the background are actually products that are going to be opened in future videos. So I've got some new Pokemon tins, and they will probably be a Saturday video. And then I've got some of the special Yu-Gi-Oh tins here um, that, again, will probably be probably next Wednesday's video. Um, so just mixing it up a little bit. Um, but for today, as I said, we are opening this Final Fantasy tin. Uh, we do have Tifa on here. Some pretty cool artwork for a tin, to be honest. I mean, this is... I think believe this is the only tin Final Fantasy have released, but I've, I think the look of it and the, the artwork on the tin beats a lot of other TCG's tins, to be honest. I mean, if you compare it to a Pokemon one, I know it's sort of different ages that they're probably aimed at. I mean, kid, the kids are probably, like going to be going for Pokemon more than Final Fantasy whereas sort of my age range or around that age are going to probably know more about Final Fantasy and um, sort of the artwork is going to appeal to us more um, so I do quite like that and then on the back um, if I can get it in view there we go it just tells us what we get in the gift set so this gift set tin includes free Opus 1 packs uh, free Opus 2 packs Three Opus 3 packs, one Opus 10 pack, and three full art cards, which are Yustola. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to say Harassful Gear. I don't know. And um, Tifa. Um, so they were promos, I believe, were only obtainable in, um, I think they were different languages, and now they got released in English in this tin, so that's quite good for collectors. Um, Let's get this open while I just ramble on, and then we can have a look at the promos and open the packs inside. So, I haven't played this TCG in ages. I did like the game, um, but there was just unfortunately no local scene for it whatsoever. Um, and then I just tried to keep up with the collecting, but I've been struggling with that for quite a while now. Um, hopefully that getting this tin will help me get back to the, the collecting side of things. Um, so we do have our promos sealed in this little bag here. So I will open this because um, I did actually buy a second tin that I'm just going to keep fully sealed anyway. And there's a nice little rip bit on here. Just hopefully that doesn't damage the cards. So we can look at all three promos and I'll sleep them up afterwards anyway. Um, so here is our full art Tifa, I think. There we go, just get it in view. It's very, very sparkly. Um, but the quality of these Final Fantasy TCG cards are unlike the quality of any other TCG I have seen. They are absolutely amazing for the quality. They've, they're not easily damaged. They're quite rigid. They are like awesome, especially if you're a collector, um, for keeping them in sort of pristine condition. And so just turn over the back there. It's just a plain black with this, the logos. But yeah, they are very good quality and not easily damaged, which is very nice. If I was to compare it to, say, something like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, they are the worst things to get damaged. They so easily like just get whitening or like little chips on them, and it's terrible. But the, these are awesome. Uh, then we have our Full Art Stola. Again, very sparkly, very cool looking artwork. And then we have our full art. Uh, I'm probably not even going to pronounce it the same as I just pronounced it like 10 seconds ago. Harals figure. If you know how to pronounce this, try and let me know in the comments because I have no idea. 
and I believe it's from 14 yet, which I have not started playing yet. I have got it downloaded, just haven't got around to starting. So hopefully if I see some gameplay from that or I see this within the game once I start playing, I'll know how to pronounce it. So I'm just going to quickly sleep up these promos to protect them. And then we will just have a look at the pack artworks and have a look at what we can get inside the actual packs. Okay, so let's grab all these out because there's quite a lot of packs in here. Which again for the price that I paid is is quite a lot of packs. I think I paid between I want to say between 30 and 40 pound. And you got three full art promos and then three, six, you get ten packs. Now a Pokemon tin, sort of retailing, is around normally between sixteen to twenty pound. You get one half art, well you sometimes get full art, but it's normally a half art promo, and you'll get four packs. You 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 tell me which is the better deal there. I mean, yes, these Final Fantasy packs, a lot of these are older ones. Uh, well, actually, sorry, that mostly all older, apart from this Final Fantasy X one. Um, but for the price that you're paying and the fact you do actually get 12 cards per pack in these, and you don't get, like, the basic energy, um, then I think this was very good price for what you get. The only reason I'm comparing it to Pokemon stuff is because I've opened a lot of Pokemon, and I don't know like what the price points are and stuff. Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't open a lot of, so I'm a little unsure of the like price points apart from when I've actually gone and bought stuff myself. So it's a bit harder for me to compare to. So in here we have uh, some Opus 3 packs. They have Sephiroth on the front. We have Opus 2, which has Squall on the front. We have Opus 1, which has Lightning on the front. And then we have Opus 10, which has Warrior of Light. So I think we will start with the oldest. Uh, just get these in order for earlier. So we'll start with Opus 1, which is Lightning. Again, they do come with a little tear thing. I've never actually opened a pack this way, I don't believe. Um, yeah, seems all right. <laughs> now with the uh, earlier like sets, I don't believe there was any card trick because there are different rarities. If I just show you the back, so you see there's 12 cards per pack. Um, it tells you the number of cards like are in the set per rarity. So 78 common, 60 rares, 34 hero, 14 legend, and 216 premium. Um, now, when it says premium, that basically means it's a foil version, so you can get every card in foil. Uh, so yeah, it tells you there are 12 cards randomly taken, does not include rule book, might contain two identical cards, that's because you can get one in non-foil and one in foil. Um, but I believe in the earlier sets there was no trick, and then in the later sets I believe it's so many to the front, sort of like with the Pokemon packs. Um, so we do have a Chocobo Chick, a Gilgamesh. A chemist so these are all commons um, as you can see from the little C next to the set uh, set number sorry uh, we have chemist we have geomancer we have rummer we have knight we have a ranger okay so there is our foil in the pack um, so it is just a common this one but it's a common foil black mage then we have our rare, which is a Vincent. Then we have another rare, which is Tidus. And then we have another rare, which is Sarah. And then the last card is a legend, a legend cloud in our first pack. So you're not always guaranteed a legend. So this is the highest rarity in these packs. Um, if you don't get a legend, you will get a hero. So it will have a H um, next, to the, next to the set number. So this has gone L for legend. That's the highest rarity you can get in these booster packs. Um, obviously, if it was a foil legend, it'd be a higher rarity even still. Um, but for our first pack open to get a legend cloud, that is that is pretty good. I'm very happy with that. Um, so I'm just going to sleeve this one up. I mean, these will all get sleeved afterwards because they will like be going some of them apart as my collection because I'm probably missing a few anyway. So we'll get into the second pack of Opus 1. And... 
obviously I want you guys to see the artwork, um, especially if you haven't sort of opened any of these before or you're not seen them before, but I don't want to go too slow. This video is ages and you get bored. So we do have a black belt, an evoker, fairy, cloud, thief, um, a red mage, a bard, a foil mystic, so that is a common, and we have our rares, which are Godot, Ramza, Amadar, and then we get a hero as the last card, which is Gordon. So obviously, hopefully some of you guys are watching are like just general Final Fantasy fans and you can sort of relate to some of the characters in these cards because um, that's sort of one of the things that basically got me into it. I mean, if I'd never played the games, I'd probably never have picked it up, to be honest. Um, but this game, like when collecting and playing the TCG, it's also helped me learn of new characters in some of the other games I haven't played. So that's quite a bonus as well. So our foil here is a common sage. Then our rares, we've got Yuna, Hades, Aerith, and a hero is the Emperor. Okay, so that's all our Opus 1 packs. Um, so we'll now go on to our Opus 2. Uh, I believe we are currently expecting Opus 12, I think, is the next set coming out soon. Um, so that, uh, I'm sure this has not been out that long. Uh, but it feels like we've just shot up in the sets already. It's been crazy. I think this has only been out a, a few years. Okay, so we do get a foil rare here, which is an edge. So that's quite cool. And then our other rare is a selfie. Uh, there we go. So there is the, the foil version and the non-foil version. We get a Drace. And then we get a Hero R. So our la oh, no, sorry, our second Opus 2 pack, we have Kyros, Bard, White Mage, Rosa, Fallacious Wanderer, a Summoner, a Arboreous Simulcrum, a Common Foil Sid Polandina, Rare Ridia, a Renoa, uh, Kukulen the Impure, and we get our second legend of the video. We get an Opus 2 Legend Varn. These, so these are not bad um, pulls, to be honest. I can't remember. I think in a booster box, this is probably going to be completely wrong So I opened a booster box in ages. Um, but I think you get, I want to say, five, six legends per booster box. If I remember correctly, that may be wrong. Um, especially with newer sets because I've not opened um, many booster boxes of the newer stuff. Plus they started introducing full art cards into the newer sets as well. So the, the ratios are probably completely different now. But the fact that we've like only got a few select random packs here that we've got two legends already is quite nice. So we have Herdy, Fallacious Wanderer, a Hero... Uh, foil cane which looks awesome I love like the colorings and everything especially like when you can get it there we go to shine on the purpley black color that's awesome Balfia Teller Sifa and a hero Barsh okay so we are now on to our free opus free packs We have Freya, Horror of Antiquity, a Mog from Nine, Emina, a Mystic Knight, DGS Trooper First Class, uh, Leonora, a Foil Legend. So we have got some really good pulls. So we've pulled one non-foil legend from Opus 1, one non-foil legend from Opus 2, and now we have a Foil Legend x Def from Opus 3. Can we get a double legend pack? Let's see. We've got Black Waltz 2. We have Rem. We have Porom. And we have a Hero King Tycoon. 
So we did get one legend in that pack and it was a foil. Cannoneer, Red Mage, Imaginary Brawler, Oracle, Izana, uh, Artemisian, Queen, another foil legend. We have Zodiac Keeper of Precepts. That looks awesome. I love the artwork on that. Plus, it's a, an Esper from Final Fantasy XII, which is one of my Final Fantasy, well, just one of my favorite games in general, to be honest. So, the fact we just pulled that was awesome. We have a Shiva, Angel Penance, a King, and another Legend. So we got a double Legend pack. We got a Foil Zodiac Keeper of Precepts and a non-foil Barts. So that was an awesome pack. And this is turning out to be quite an awesome opening. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Obviously, this is a Wednesday video. It's something different. Um, you may not be fans of like Final Fantasy TCG, you may not have seen it or played it before. So hopefully this gives you like an insight into different games that are out there and sort of games that interest me and that I sort of collect as well. So we have Ranger, Freya, Mystic Knight, a WRO member, Leonora, a Cannoneer, WRO member, a foil cannoneer common, a white tiger lassie kunmi, a nine, Izayoi, I don't know how you pronounce that because I've not played that game. Um, and then we get another legend, another Final Fantasy XII Esper. We have Ultima, the High Seraph. So, so far. Um, we've opened nine packs and we have six of legend cards. That is awesome. Uh, let's hope we can finish this video strong with our Opus 10 pack. Um, and I don't believe I have opened a single Opus 10 pack yet. I'm pretty sure that I missed pre-release for it. And I don't think I've opened one pack. So this is my first one. So we have Noctis, Aldo. As I said, there might be a card trick, but I don't quite remember what it is. Um, so things might be in a different order. Uh, we have Gankina, uh, Sylph, Kukulan, Mog from 13-2. We have Soldier 3rd Class. And then we have a Shantoto Foil. Um, now there is a different rarity that I haven't mentioned yet, just because we haven't pulled it. But basically it has an S. Um, next to the set number that no normally it means it's a starter card so you can get this card in one of the starter decks um, but of probably in a, a non-foil version um, so this is the foil version that you can get within the actual booster packs um, so if you do want to collect like every card then you would need to buy booster packs or singles and also the um, the sort of the the, f the game theme decks basically because every deck is basically based around a game like 14, 12, 10, uh, 7, all those sort of games. And then we have our hero which is Ifrit. Um, so I think that's how they changed it. I think they put the highest rarity so you have a hero or legend behind the foil rather than being at the end of the pack um, because then we have our rares which are Verena and Camulot and a Ramza. So yeah, so I'm going to sleeve this Shanto too because you don't very often get starter cards in packs. So that's quite nice to get. So that is our video. We have opened 10 packs of Final Fantasy cards from different sets. And I have to say, I am very pleased. We have four non-foil legends, two foil legends and a foil starter card. And some of the artworks on these are just awesome. Whether you like the classic in-game look. Uh, you like the sort of Amano artwork. It is You get a, a good selection of different artworks within the game. So whether you're a Final Fantasy fan, 
whether you're just a TCG collector or player, I would highly recommend you check out the Final Fantasy TCG in some aspect, even if it's just to watch other people play it, and maybe open some packs yourself. Um, until next time, I hope to see you in another Wednesday video, and have a great week, guys.